How close do we need to get the cooling nozzle to the wheel? When I work with my customers on cooling, uh, there are basically two rules that I tell them to follow. And if they can follow these two rules, that's 95% of the battle. The first rule is you want a coolant speed that matches or gets close to matching the wheel speed. And rule number two is you want to get the nozzle as close to the wheel as you can, but as close to the point of contact between the wheel and the workpiece. There was a guy uh, in Liverpool named Vadim who did some tests some years ago for his PhD thesis. Beautiful work and he determined okay how close do we really need to be to the wheel to get coolant into the grinding zone into the hot spot. So let's take a look at what he did. What we have here is uh, Vadim's tests. He always kept the nozzle five mil away from the wheel it and it kept going up and up and up with the wheel and he basically kept moving the nozzle further and further away from the wheel uh, and further and further higher between the point of contact between the wheel and the workpiece so he went from a height of zero where the nozzle is hitting right at the interface between the wheel and the workpiece up to a height of about eight millimeters. Eight mil is about, what, a third of an inch? So up to just a third of an inch above the contact between the wheel and the workpiece. Then what he did was he got a little collector, say like a little cup, and he collected how much coolant actually traveled through the grinding zone, through the hot spot, and actually flew through, and he was able to collect that in his cup. So let's take a look and see what he got. So here we have Bottom's results, and what we can see is, okay, when his nozzle position was 8 mil away from the wheel, however, right, the height was zero right at the intersection between the two, he got about 2.2 liters per minute going through the grinding zone. And that was the best he could get. Then he started backing off, and then as he backed off, he started climbing up just a little bit too. And as he did that, the amount of coolant that actually went through the grinding zone dropped. It dropped rather quickly, and it got to the point where, okay, he was only getting about 0.4 liters per minute to the grinding zone or to the hot spot. So let's take point zero, the height above the workpiece is zero, so we're hitting right at that little intersection or that crevice. Uh, point E is 3.2 millimeters above the contact between the workpiece and the wheel. Three mil isn't much but three millimeters is enough to cut his flow rate through the grinding zone from 2.2 liters per minute down to one. So cut it more in half. And then when he went down to about eight mil away, eight mil higher than the uh, workpiece, he lost a huge amount of his flow rate. So the moral of the story is if you want to have effective cooling, you've really got to get that coolant nozzle to be hitting, not up above on the wheel, but right at that crevice or maybe a millimeter away or millimeter higher um, than where the wheel meets the workpiece.